Oh, we getting started already? We're celebrating. <sighs> celebrating? Yeah, your first voyage into nature. <laughs> I'm excited to be sitting here with Naya Reynolds, director of Wild Horses for Obsidian Fest. Welcome, Naya. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about Obsidian Fest and your role as director of Wild Horses? Yep, so Obsidian Theater Fest is a festival that's taking place right here in Detroit. Um, we have several productions that consist of plays, cabarets, musicals. Um, so I happen to be a director for one of the plays and these are short plays that are put on. And so we had a couple weeks to rehearse and then we got into the theater space at the Y and we put on our show. We had an amazing, amazing time. I'm absolutely honored to have been a part of that process. Okay, and you directed Wild Horses? Wild Horses, yes. What is that about? So Wild Horses is actually, it has a couple of different meanings if you really think about it, but what Wild Horses really hit on was the idea of the image of the black person in America. So you got this couple, this black couple in particular, and they decide to go camping. And there's this running joke that black people don't camp, black people don't camp. This is not something that black people do. So they're out, they're trying to enjoy their time in the wilderness. And as they're doing that, they're being looked at as a spectacle in the white eye frame. So a white woman comes in and, you know, she eventually presents herself as this friendly person, but there's this undercurrent that, you know, there's a lot of microaggression happening. Um, there's a lot of prejudice and assumptions on both ends and things get really, really out of control towards the end. And it's it's just the idea that, you know, black people are looked at as this thing to be stared at or looked upon, but they're also something to be afraid of, like a wild horse. They're beautiful to look at from a distance, but you might be scared to get too close to them because you don't know what they're going to do. And it kind of plays on that idea that we are black people, we are humans, and, you know, we have a range of emotions and you can't just pick at us you know, just because it seems like something interesting in the moment or because you're afraid. So it really plays on a lot of different things and it's just a really beautiful piece overall. They're here. The Rangers? No. <laughs> Horses. Look. <sighs> wow. They're free. What should we take away from the piece? I would say the biggest thing to take away from it is that we are not a monolith. As Black people, we are complex. We are beautiful. We are afraid. We are powerful. We are loving. We are sad, right? But at the end of the day, we are people. And that's Black, White, any race that you are, we're all people. And we should look at each other as such with that eye of humanity and not come in by looking at somebody's color of skin and judging them based off of that and assuming X, Y, and Z about a person. We were uh, just about to take a walk. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's such a good idea? Walking alone in the dark with him? Who? The thug of acetone? That's enough, Jenny. Now please go. I had the honor of being able to meet our playwright and to talk with her. We talked to each other on Zoom because she lives out of state, but- and who is the playwright? Brandy. So she was, um, she was our playwright and I was able to really like get an understanding of who she is and just, you know, where she comes from, what inspired her to write this story. I think those are important things to know mm -hmm. when I am about to go and direct something. Not that I'm just taking a piece that's already done and I can just do whatever I want with it, but I really like to take the time to understand why a playwright went in the direction that they did. And then that helps me in the collaboration process to begin to think like that as well. Um, and then put my own creative vision in it. So it's, it yeah. all works together. Yeah, yeah. All works together. How long have you been directing? So I've been directing for about four to five years off and on. I do some other things in the arts as well, but my heart started with acting and then it moved into directing. And I, I really see myself in the long run, just being behind the scenes and really taking on that directing role. I just, I love to create stories. I love to be given stories and to create from there too. You know, it's like someone giving away their own baby and you just have to take it and build on it. What is your mission as a director of stories? I really, really value the idea of camaraderie and um, just empathy. Even if there's a play where you have characters where it's like, I'm not rooting for that character, that character is the bad guy. At least we have to have an understanding of where every character comes from. There's a backstory, even if the backstory is not on the pages, 
We gotta create that because these are still people. Each one of these characters are still people. And that's what I wanted to emphasize, even with our other character who most people probably may not root for because it was that idea of, we don't know what this lady's about, what she's gonna do. We made it a point to make a backstory for her and really understand who she is, what her influences in life were because she didn't just wake up and do whatever she wanted to do just because we needed an opposing character, right? And to look at the other two characters and understand what are their perspectives? Are there things that maybe they've been sheltered from that they might misunderstand about the other side? It just, I'm very interested in, in playing on all of those different things but still telling the same story. I love it. It's like you're a synthesizer of humanity. Yes, I, I'm all about it. Just <laughs> working together. I mean, we already know the world is just so many things. So it's nice to have moments where we can really just come together and create art authentically, but also at the same time, make sure that we understand, even if we're all coming from different places, let's try to have an understanding somewhere. Thank you so much, Naya Reynolds. It was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you.